Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our shoulders and our biceps. I'm going to start with the usual, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side, ensuring we get that dynamic stretching going on at least for two to five minutes before every workout. And the greatest stretch has been my staple stretching weight just to start my workout gives me amazing results always after the greatest stretch as usual we sit in a deep squat at least for few seconds you can also sit in a deep squat for a minute even more than that and it'll be absolutely fine it's actually a great way to make sure your hips mobility is great and also you are able to stretch your hips nicely so you can do it at any point of the day but i prefer to do it in the pre-workout Post completing these, we move on to a little bit of mobility drill with plate rotations around the head, each side 10 to 15 rotations. You can do it a couple of times. The weight of the plate should be just challenging enough, just heavy enough so that, you know, you are taking an effort in terms of taking it around your head. Now we are trying to make sure our shoulder goes through the internal and external rotation before we start working out and few overhead presses just to get blood going and warm up our muscles before we start with our workouts. For the first exercise, I'm going to do overhead press on machine. So if this particular machine is not available with you, you can also do overhead press on a regular rack with a barbell or with a couple of dumbbells. And I have done that previously with dumbbells sitting in an inclined position. So as you can see, I grip it in a pronated manner basically my palms are facing me so it kind of creates a little bit more tight uh, grip and I also it also creates a lot of uh, pressure on my front delts and a little bit on my lateral delts and sitting inclined gives me that more depth of stretch now here it is necessary for you to do drop sets so try to do at least 15 to 20 repetitions in the one go and then drop the weight try to get as many repetitions as possible if you have been doing it at an intense level you should be able to achieve right around 5 to 10 repetitions every drop now make sure you if you're doing it on a similar equipment place the seat height as high up as possible to give yourself that extra depth as your elbows come down so that you feel that stretch on your front delt and from there you can push all the way up taking it through the full range of motion uh, more amount of blood flow more natural movement more growth Post completing these, we move on to a little bit of bicep work. We start off with our regular staple high cable curls, three sets, 20 repetitions. Make sure you set up the cable high at the highest point. And from there, once you grip the cable, you have to turn away from the cable or the equipment. Basically, your chest is facing downwards. Your entire body is facing downwards. Your hand is stretched. And from that position, you start curling. Now we have to do 20 repetitions each hand and we wouldn't be taking a break while switching from one arm to the other. Post completing both the arms, you can take 30 to 45 seconds rest. If not, you can also challenge yourself by not taking a break at all and try to achieve all 60 repetitions in one go. It would be quite challenging if the weight is challenging enough. So do it at your own pace. You can also do 10 at a time, 10 at a time, achieve the 60 repetitions or do it like I'm doing here. 20 repetitions in one go, take a 30 to 45 seconds break, shake it off and go for the next. Just ensure that the cable is always under tension. So the weight is never resting. You're always pulling or the weight is always pulling on your arm and you curl through the entire range of motion. So you let it go completely and from there you contract completely. Post completing those, I move on to cable lateral races. So you can work on the same equipment, nothing much to switch. The break in between the exercises can be very short because we are working two different muscles. It's only the time required for you to catch your breath. So you can keep the break in between the exercises just 30 to 40 seconds and you should be fine. Just a hydration break is more than sufficient. Now again, 20 repetitions, three sets with 30 to 45 seconds break in between. You have to make sure the cables come all the way in front of you and your arms cross each other to get that maximum amount of stretch without letting the cables rest. So the weight is never resting. And from there, you take it all the way up, full range of motion and come down as slowly as possible. Take 
three to four seconds to come down keeping that stress always on your lateral delts a little bit of stress on your front delts also but mostly your lateral delts are doing the majority part of the work if you're standing too backwards from the cable they will be stress on your rear delts so i would suggest stand as close as possible to the cable equipment so it's not pulling you forward the pressure is only pulling you sideways if it is pulling you forward it's okay but then you need a lot more strength to stabilize yourself in terms of not rolling forward so your rear delts will be challenged slightly not much but yes slightly because of the equipment this kind of equipment if you're using a free cable setup that would be a, a completely different topic now post completing those i move on to reverse grip curls again three sets 20 repetitions reverse grip curls are mostly working on your forearms and also the inner muscle under muscle of the uh, which is called the brachii muscle which is inside or under your bicep muscle basically also again helps you to get that extra bit of shape and size on your biceps now the reverse grip might not be comfortable for all on a straight bar so you're free to do it on a easy bar but if you're able to do it on a straight bar go ahead and do it it's nothing wrong it's all about the kind of connect you feel keep your elbows as close to your body as possible and try to keep your form as strict as possible so do not let momentum take over and go through the repetitions as slow paced as possible like feel the stretch feel the contraction don't just uh, curl the bubble bubble at force again don't let momentum take over your repetitions make sure your repetitions are effective every rep should be challenging as you can see here even if i'm not able to get close to the 20 repetitions i take minute amount of breaks to get close to my repetitions after those we go on to red delt flies we work on our red delts now the reason why i chose to do on the machine is because already my red delts were a little bit uh, worked up with the previous day back workout so on on cape on this particular equipment i am i can push them a little bit harder now the way i sit is i sit as far behind as possible in reverse and lean forward and take the support of the seat on my chest as you can see here and i let my arms go all the way forward all the way feel that completely let my shoulders roll forward and from there i push it back as much as possible complete contraction in my rear delt and as you can see here how my rear delts the just the part just above my triceps is completely contracted and working really hard every time i push the uh, equipment behind me basically doing the reverse flies it is important for you to lean forward so i would not at least in this particular equipment in this setup i had to lean forward to get that full amount of stretch if you have a different equipment which allows you to get full amount of stretch without leaning forward do that way for me i had to lean forward sit as far behind as possible to get that full stretch and the next exercise we are going to do is incline cable uh, sorry incline dumbbell curls basically set yourself on an inc incline bench arms completely dropped beside you and from there we start curling with a challenging weight 20 repetitions both arm at a time you can also do one arm at a time but I would say that's a little bit of waste of time literally because if you can do both arms at a time just go ahead and do that with 30 to 45 seconds break in between it's important to keep your arms straight down as much as possible not them let lift your elbows up or get them beside your body that gives the maximum amount of stretch on your bicep and from there to lift the weight your biceps have to do really a lot of work so again full range of motion working on a uh, working on a in a stretched uh, position more growth is what my experience says go slow on the repetitions feel the stretch and every time you're curling try to keep your wrist slightly bent outwards so that the forearms come in as less as possible you can also choose to have gloves and straps to help with the grip strength because here my, our main focus is working on our biceps we already have done our forearm bit in the reverse grip curls after those we are going to finish off our exercising bit with a superset of bus drivers simply sit on a bench slightly you know lean backwards and start rotating the plate in front of you keeping the hole of the, the bar hole of the plate at eye level and rotate it exaggerate the rotation that internal rotation and the external rotation in your shoulders so you're like steering a wheel 
as much as possible. Now you have to make sure the weight is just enough. Anything more, you wouldn't be able to hold on to it pretty long because holding the weight at this particular angle is also quite challenging in itself. Post completing those as I did 10 rotations each side, immediately switch to a little bit heavier plate and start doing overhead presses. Now this is a little bit of overload on your front delts and on your lateral delts, but well, we want big wide shoulders. So let's go ahead and do it. Push as much blood as possible and cause as much muscle fatigue as possible to get those wide broad shoulders. Pretty easy one. Good way to finish off our workout and great way to end the shoulder and bicep part. I'm going to finish off with calf races. Again, three sets, as many repetitions as possible. The journey to induce growth in my small calf muscles is still going on and I'll still keep on going on it. They have gained strength, certainly, but the amount of size I want is still far behind. So we have to keep working. Uh, I'm not able to make it a part of my everyday routine because it kind of, you know, it's a long, it takes more time if I keep adding exercises on a regular basis, but I do it as often as possible, especially on the leg press machine makes my life a little bit easier in terms of challenging my calves. And as you can see, always go through the full range of motion, complete drop of heels, feel the stretch in your calves and complete press up of the heels, full contraction and go slow because if you go fast, your tendons are doing the majority of work. The slower you go, the longer you go, the more calf muscles are working and do as many repetitions as possible. Failure has often been a great way to improve the calf muscle strength and size because yes of course if you're doing slow repetitions 15 to 20 could be challenging enough but go as many as repetitions as possible and that's it we're done with our day we're going to finish off with a simple vertical hang to decompress our shoulders stretch out our shoulder muscles and our bicep muscles and at the same time do a little bit of endurance work on our forearms thank you so much for watching the video if you did like the workout, you know, please do drop a like on the video. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel and if you're watching the video for the first time, please do subscribe. I drop regular videos on my workout routine and you can catch up anytime and start at any point as you wish because it doesn't really matter. Once you start, you can just keep going. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you had a great workout working around. I'll see you in the next workout. Have a good day.